take a listen. There's nothing. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Up in North Florida, up near Sumatra, on my lunch break here, I have SOS only. No cell phone service. The phone I'm using also has no cell phone service. I have no Wi-Fi because, and my hotspot's not working because I have no cellular data. Now, I just wanted to show the importance of, and if this video, if you say that you'd rather send an email from your phone, that this is a stupid video, please, please unsubscribe and never watch again. Go watch Taylor Swift on YouTube. This isn't for you. This is the show that right now, about 10 miles that way, and I'm not opening my window because some winged creature was huge that hit this window. Man, there's some, yeah, there he is. I am 25, 30 miles from this way from any kind of civilization. And I think that way about 10 miles, there's one of those gas stations where you roll over the things, it goes ding, ding. And they got the square pumps, you know, that the numbers flip and the person outside tells you whatever price he wants to give you. That's where we're at right now. So in the event I had to send a critical message, this, my Icon 7100 and my laptop is the only method I'm going to show you right now. I just received a couple of messages. See, here's one that just came in. Hi, Eric. Watched your last video on sending email via WinLink using radio and decided to give you a shout using a RMS gateway not too far from my home. Okay, so there you go. Thanks to uh, that person, uh, N2IMB. Now watch this. I'm going to send my wife an email. I just sent my manager one just to prove that where I'm out here, if in the event that I cannot answer a call or I'm in an emergency situation, again, there's nobody here, man. There's absolutely nobody. It's quiet. <laughs> There's no civilization. All right. So uh, let's see. Hey, honey. Love you. Sent from uh, HF radio and truck. Okay. Uh, let me type her email here. I'll pause it. All right, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm on 30 meters today. 30 meters seems to work really well on um, Windlink Express. That's what it'll sound like. Somebody's going through that station right now. Okay, and I have my screwdriver antenna controller. That goes, you know, antenna up and down. And uh, so here's where I'm on here. Let's see, open session. Right. I'll wait till the channel's not busy, but here's what I'm using right here. WX4PCA-10. Um, that is a V500 mode. Grid square Echo Mary 7.3 November uniform. Um, 800 kilometers. Seems to have a pretty good path. We're going to try this one. All right. Test done. Here we go. All right. Transmit. Receive, transmit, the computer's doing all of it. All I'm using is a USB cable to the data port in the back. Right? So it's going to send that message. That's high speed data mode. This is going through Georgia, Paulding County, Georgia areas. Again, this is not the fastest. But when you have nothing, this will work. And if you say this is stupid, you can send it from your phone. I'm ridiculous. Just unsubscribe and never watch again. I don't want you watching my videos if that's the case. I don't ever want to hear about you again. <laughs> this is not for you. This is for people that need to understand that I'm showing videos on, you know, whatever I can. But this is a practical use of ham radio. Now, what, three weeks ago, this area got, just got hit by a hurricane. Hurricane uh, uh, Debbie, what do you think people did up here? Ham radio? Yes, Sarnet. Sarnet was a um, a viable lifeline for search and rescue. That video is coming up. If I can get a hold of Howard, he was directly responsible for rescuing people that were flooded in the attic of their house, wherever they were in the barn, because of, there we go, completed, sent one message, All right? Um, they were basic, and it took 
One minute and 32 seconds to send that. But yeah, so let me just, hold on a second here. Let me start my truck. Right? So turn the AC down here. Hey, look, I still have no service, right? Sarnet was the other, the Sarnet, Sarnet actually works here. KJ4YZI, leaving Sumatra, right? So I have ham radio communication when uh, I need to have something better than a phone. Um, everybody's probably on lunch right now. Pat was just out there. Let's see if uh, Robert's out there. KK3S, KJ4YZI. Yeah, nobody there. But I've been on Sarnet for the last two, three days. So in practical use, uh, ham radio is the only thing in situations where you have nothing. I'm still going to look here. All right. That's it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Not a tutorial on how to set it up, but just to know that I sent, I received a couple emails. I sent one to my manager. I sent one to my wife. And uh, if you want to send me one, I'll, I'll uh, check it. I only use WinLink on radio. I try not to ever use it on Telnet. So if you get an email or I send an email or you send an email and it takes two, three weeks or a month, that's because I only do it when I'm on radio just to keep practicing. 7-3.